Less than 12 months ago, the CIK Stars of Karting Series is a standalone karting series with purely a dream. Four rounds later, and we've crowned three champions of the Stars of Karting Series. I'm Lee Hanischek, here is Scott Ald, and we are here to wrap up the day's action from final day of round four of the CIK Stars of Karting Series. All the talking point coming into this weekend, Scott, was about the pro gearbox category. There was five guys who could win it. Yeah. And in the end, it was Matthew Wall who sealed the victory. You know, one of the things in pro gearbox is getting off the line, and Matty Wall got that right in the final, and uh, it's got him the championship. Super effort. That was one thing I noticed, Scott, is that when the pressure was on, he was three points behind Kel Treston coming into the final, and he just nailed that start. Yeah, slingshot start, you know. And that's, uh, that's the beauty of this series, you know, you've got to get everything right, and Matty Wall did it on the right day. The Pro Gearbox, it's been a revelation this year, it will be certain to grow throughout the years in come. 2011 looks very good for that class, and Matthew Wall, he will look at that John Pizarro trophy for the next 12 months and know that he has sealed the greatest victory of his karting career. Uh, definitely Lee, um, this is the last tick of my box, so I need to do in the sport. Look at the... The who's who of karting is especially in this class now and it's just, um, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the highest category of, of karting in Australia. Coming into this round, Ken Fothergill, he had his eyes set firmly on the James Courtney trophy and today, Scott, a second place in the first final, he secured that victory. Yeah, well, you know, when we uh, look back at the series, uh, we always said uh, Kian was just cool, calm, collective. In final number one, he was right on the tail of the leader of Adam Hughes, and he just sat there comfortably. I'm sure the points were ticking in his head. He was pretty comfortable. He was. Adam Hughes, he did a great job this weekend to win both finals, but the championship spoils definitely go to Kian Fothergill and the Traxar team. Uh, we've done a real good job. We didn't expect to do this well, so uh, we're happy with today's result with the second as well for the, for the last round. All year throughout the CIK Stars of Karting series, the CRG pilot of Pierce Lahane has stood just a little bit above the drivers in Pro Junior, and once again today, he rose to the top when it mattered most. Yeah, when it mattered most. Uh, the finals today, he got it all right and uh, took the crown. Great job. Great job from Pierce all throughout the year, but very pleasing to see the improvement of the younger drivers in the way of James Macken, uh, Jake Coleman was impressive yeah. this weekend as well. He was, yeah, and that's the beauty of, like, Pierce, you're right, he's they put so much effort into it, and he's made everyone else, they really had to lift, and you're right, everyone did, and uh, they challenged him a little, but uh, in the end, they're too strong. Well, that's a wrap from the CRK Stars of Karting series here from Port Melbourne. A great thank you to everyone who's been involved in this series. It's been a huge success this year. There will be bigger and better things to come in 2011. And stay up to date with all the latest information on karting as a whole on www.karting.net.au. And for the Stars of Karting information for 2011, be sure to log on to www.starsofkarting.com.au.